Day one, psychometric tests normal, spatial reasoning below parameters. Nothing too concerning yet, but do keep an eye out for. Can I get a water? Fine. You know the drill by now. Name, rank, serial number. Arthur Reynolds, first officer aboard Saturn 16, 0446295. Angry, tired, generally grumpy. Subject is still an arsehole. Shall we begin? What happens if I say no, eh? We go anyway. Except I'm more annoyed. Tell me about the incident, from the beginning. Well, we hit the stars and the stars hit back. This is an official debriefing, Arthur, not a fucking poetry slam. September 16th. We're on the final leg of our three-month tour. And about three hours away from reaching the Venus mesosphere. All readings normal, crew life signs stable. Yeah, that's about when the captain broke. And by broke? You mean? Ruptured. Turned inside out. Shuffled off his mortal coil. Damn near covered Steph from head to toe. You know, she spent the last 15 minutes of her life trying to wash chunks of her boss out of her hair. We found communication officer Lopez's body in the shower room. Care to elaborate? Stephanie. I'm sorry? What? Her name was fucking Stephanie. You sent her up there to die. You do not get to decide how she's remembered. She wasn't a fucking communications officer. She was Steph. She didn't deserve that. She was Steph. And why did you kill her, Arthur? Subject remains uncooperative. Beginning D2. How are we feeling today, Arthur? Like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack, Doc. Let's get this over with, eh? Let's continue from where we left off yesterday. Whatever happened to the captain? Happened? What came next? Well, being that close to the planet, the electrical storms on the surface were disrupting long-range communications. So with no way to ask for help or instructions, we just got to work cleaning up the mess and trying to figure out things for ourselves. Steph went to get cleaned up. Man, we hadn't even made a dent in the mess when she screamed. None of us could move. We just sort of stood there, stood there and listened to Stephanie die in agony for what felt like hours. She passed shortly after we arrived, barely even fucking recognizable as human. Why did you just stand there? I don't know. Each of us experienced it differently. Some worse than others. I guess for Cheng it was just too much. And how did you experience it, Arthur? Did you ever visit the tar pits back on Earth? I did back in my academy days. Is this really relevant? I remember standing at the pit's edge, looking down and knowing that the thing beneath my feet had been around since the beginning of life itself. It was a beautiful thing. Beautiful in a way that I could never fully grasp as a child. The tar isn't malicious. Doesn't fear. Doesn't love. It just exists. Always has. Maybe it always will. What happened to Chang, Arthur? Whatever had a hold on us in the moment of Steph's death, it was old. Older than the tar pits. 
older than humanity, older than you could possibly fucking believe. And I felt that. I felt its age. I felt its power. I felt its raw, untempered capacity for hatred. Let me tell you something, clipboard. We're insects with thumbs. Something climbed out of the primordial ooze before you were even a twinkle in Gaia's eye. And it does not like company. Answer the question. What happened to Chang, Harper? All oh, right. Him I did kill. There is a marked deterioration in the subject's mental and physical capacity. Arthur, I can't help you if you don't talk to me. You've admitted to killing Chain, but you have yet to explain how or why. We need to understand everything that happened. I don't know. All I remember is how it made me feel. And how did it make you feel, Arthur? Arthur. What? Arthur. Answer me. Right. How did it make you feel? We need to know. Right. Yeah. Arthur? Look. Just give me a minute. It's pretty fucking hard to concentrate when it feels like you're losing a tug of war with your own fucking mind. Take your time. Do you hurt your family? What? Of course I don't hurt my family. Why would you ask? I don't know, really. Curiosity? Are you saying you're having trouble processing your emotions? It's a common side effect of post-traumatic stress. Getting back to Chang, Arthur? No. You would never hurt them. They're a part of you, correct? The need to protect them so... deeply ingrained into your psyche that such a heinous act is... inconceivable. We need to talk about Chang, Arthur? You know Beth doesn't love you anymore. Not really. And yet still you fight to keep her and your son safe. Safe and happy. Why is that? How do you know my wife's name? Who told you? Tell me why you do anything to protect them. I want to know. That's not really a question I can answer, Arthur. They're my family. They mean everything to me and I would do anything to protect them. That sounds like a challenge. We're done for the day. Double his dosage, and double the guard. I remember why I killed Cheng.
Don't worry about him. He's not important. Um, am I? You are important. You teach me things I want to know. You're my family now. <laughs> family. Did I use that word correctly? Who? What are you? Everywhere I visit has a different name for me. In your tongue, some call me the end. Others a new beginning. Some call me the devil, and others prefer God. Oh, and there was this one civilization that just called me Michael. I digress. Arthur was my doorway, and I am what stepped through. I... I don't understand. And you probably never will. Make your peace with that, because you're about to have a lot more to worry about. There are guards every five feet. You won't make it out of the building. They're dead. Let's go. What? Where are we going? To see your old family, of course. I don't like to share. <laughs>